Hello and hello everybody, my name is Lucy and welcome to Books and Brushes. Today I'm going to do a challenge and that is a pixelated cover challenge. So on Epic Reads I found this challenge where it shows you like these really pixelated YA book covers and I'll have to guess what books they are. I just searched, you know, cover challenges on Google and this is one of the first ones I found. Haven't looked through any of them yet so I don't know what this is going to be like <laughs> but there's only one way to find out so let's do this. Feel free to play along, I will put the link for the Epic Reads um, article quiz thing in the description and you can either stop this video and go play it and then come back or you can play along with me or you can play it after but then you will know the, the answers so your choice entirely, you do you and let's play. There are 15 questions slash pictures and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and guess what the cover is first and then there is multiple choice but I'm going to try and see if I can get it just from the photo and if I need a hint then I'll look at the multiple choice and we'll see how that goes. So let's get into number one. So I'll be using my phone down here and I can show you the picture up in the corner here. So the first one is... Oh wow, this challenge is going to be hard, isn't it? <laughs> no, I'm going to need to look at the multiple choice for that one. Okay, so the four options are Invictus by Ryan Grording, Valiant by Leslie Livingston, Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds, and Legend by Marie Lu. Right, well, I'm pretty certain it's not Legend because I've seen a fair few covers of Legend. I have a cover which I, I do know, and that's definitely not the cover for Legend. So, ruling that out. I don't think it's Valiant by Leslie Livingston. I'm pretty sure, again, that's not the cover for that. And the other two books, I don't know at all. Could not tell you what the covers are, so could be either of those. So it's going to have to be a little bit of a 50-50. I'm going to go with A Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds, just because his name is easier to say. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just going to go with that. And whew, hopefully we'll get some covers I know in this challenge, or this could be really embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so the second one is... <laughs> okay, that's vague. Black, that's what I'm getting, so black covers. Again, multiple choice is needed here. The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. These Rebel Waves by Sarah Rush. And Now I Rise by Chris Kirsten White. <laughs> so it could be The Thousandth Floor, because that's a black cover and it's got like a gold, like tower building in the middle so that could be that but then again i'm thinking it'd be a little bit i don't know it's hard these rebel waves i think it has that color scheme i think it could be that now i rise it it, it could be that i know it's not stalking jack the ripper so that's gone out of the uh, question but oh it's gonna be so hard i'm gonna go with these rebel Ra waves by sarah rash i don't know why i just think that it's that and I can't say why but I think a lot of these are just gonna have to go on intuition so oh god that one makes me nervous because I think it could be any of those really but I think the colours and I don't know just the minimalness of it I think it's got to be that so fingers crossed number three well that's equally vague <laughs> I'm gonna need multiple choice for all of these I'm pretty sure oh dear god I've just looked at the multiple choice, does not help, does not help at all. So, the multiple choice is The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, The Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, The Becoming of Noah Short by Michelle Hodkin, or The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. The Mara Dyer series, they're pretty much all the same. <laughs> Again, never read that don't really have any retention to I know the basics of each of the covers but they're all so similar like I don't have anything to narrow this down so we have like this bit that goes from the corner I, I've got an idea this is purely guesswork if I get this right purely luck no skill whatsoever involved in this so moving on to number six we have ooh, black and blue we have like a triangle like fire or something in the middle and then maybe like a bronze title something like that gonna have to look at the uh, the list we have the fates divide by veronica roth caraval by stephanie garber carve the mark by veronica roth 
and Legendary by Stephanie Garber. Okay, so I have Caraval. The cover I have is the UK cover, and I'm pretty sure all of these are going to be US because it's always US. Even so, I know the Caraval US cover, so that's fine. Don't think it's that. Caraval is very centre and it's got like red and blue. Not seeing it. Same with Legendary. Definitely not seeing it. So I'm gonna. Stephanie Garber's out of the running for this one. It's got to be a Veronica Roth. I've seen Curved Mark, and it does have blue and black. The Fates Divide, I oh, don't remember it as well as I want to, but I don't think it's Curved the Mark, so I'm going to go with The Fates Divide by Veronica Roth. Number seven, we have... Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> just squinting my eyes. Just <laughs> Do you know what? I think I might have an idea for this one. Yeah, okay, so earlier one of the answers was The Hazel Wood by Melissa Albert, I think. And that kind of looks like it. It's got that hourglass. Can you see the hourglass? The gold and then all the little grey silver bits would be like the the illustrations and the doodles around there. Do you have to cut the grass now? I don't know if you can hear that, but if you can, I'm really sorry. I'm just going to try and go through it. If it's annoying, I bloody hope it's not that annoying. We'll, we'll just see in editing. Motorbike. <laughs> anyway. So I'm going to look at multiple choice, and if the Hazelwood isn't there... Okay, so the Hazelwood is there. Yay! The rest of the answers were The Cruel Prince by Holly Black The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo and Tales of the Peculiar by Ransom Riggs. Now, the funny thing about this list is I have two of the four. <laughs> I do have uh, Peculiar Tales by Ransom Riggs and I do have Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. Definitely not either of those. I hope. <laughs> I mean, the colours could be Tales of the Peculiar by Ransom Riggs, but the shape of that is so out of glass. I mean, The Cruel Prince, definitely not. The With the Crown, definitely not. Language of Thorns, definitely not. It's got that border and... Nope. So the, yeah, The Hazelwood. I'm more confident about this than I've been about any of the others. <laughs> so let's move on to the next one. Number eight, we have... Ooh, very purpley and blue. Okay, purpley and blue. That's the only clue I've really got, and it's... No, no I'm going to look at the multiple choice. There could be so many things. Purple and blue, like... Could be so many. We have Zenith by Sasha Olberg and Lindsay Cummings. Wayfair by Alexandra Bracken. Honor Among Thieves by Rachel Kane and Anne... Anguire? Names are hard. <laughs> we have Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston. I'm thinking this is Zenith. Just that colour. Just that... The pattern of it. I'm, I'm thinking Zenith. I think Wayfair's way too lilac. It's got way more of a grey tone. Don't think it's that. Honor Among Thieves, it could be. I know that's purple. So it could be that. And I'm a little worried it's that. Part of Iron by Ashley Posden. Again, I think it's purple. I've got like a, a teardrop glass shape in my mind for that one. I'm probably getting all of these mixed up. In fact, m all of these are purple, and all of these have very similar covers, except Wayfair, which I can kind of rule out. But I'm just going to go with Zenith and hope for the best. Go eager instinct. Go eager. So the next one we have. Ooh, okay. Blue with a grey in the middle. L I'm pretending to know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the answers are Generation 1 by Pitticus Law. Hope I haven't butchered that. Goodbye Days by Jeff Zanta. Zenta? Zenta. Empress of a Thousand Skies by Rhoda Belza. Why are these names really hard today? And Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. I mean, her name's hard, but I've said it enough times that I should get it right. <laughs> first of all, I don't know the first three books. The only one of those I know is Our Dark Duet. So, this is gonna be a tough one. I don't even know those books, I can't think of their covers. I have no hints. Now I'm thinking it's too blue for our dark duet. Like, our dark duet has like a black background with blue like instrument behind it and white writing. It's got the right kind of composition to be our dark duet. I think the colours are all, all inverted and wrong and I think it's too blue. So the one I, I do know the cover, that's out. So I'm just going to go Empress of a Thousand Skies and see what happens. Number 10 we have. Ooh, that's a pretty one. A turquoise and like a, a bronzy pan. It looks very Celtic to me, but it's probably not. I feel like I know that. I feel like I've seen that before. 
I, I can't tell you what, so I'm gonna look at the list. Beyond a Dark and Short by Jessica Leek. All the Crooked Tate by Maggie Stevada. Before She Ignites by Jodie Menos. And A Fire and Stars by Audrey Colhurst. Okay, I'm pretty sure I know what that is. Like, I knew. Now I now I see the list. It, I can see it. I can see it so clearly. And I think it's A Fire and Stars. I looked at buying this book for a while and it oomed and ard. And that's the cover. I can see that bronzy bit. That's the words of Fire and Stars. I'm pretty sure. It's definitely not All the Crooked Saints. I have that one. Definitely not. Before She Ignites, again, I've seen that cover. I don't know it super well, but I'm pretty sure that's not it. And I just know it's a fire and stars, so let's move on to the next one. Number 11, we have, ooh, black, white, little pops of colour. Doesn't give me any clues, so let's get the list. Pink Poppy Midnight by April Gr Genevieve Tolok? Tokol? No. I cannot say that name for the life of me. Feel free to laugh at my expense. Go on. I give you permission. I mean, you're going to anyway. I'm so sorry to that author. I, I've butchered that so hard. World Beauty by Anna Marie Mecklemore. You know when you start saying names wrong, it's really hard to pick up. Like, your mouth just goes blah, 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 blah. Really hard. Wicked Life A Wildfire by Alana Popovic. And Children of Blood, of, Children of Blood and Bone by Terry Adeyemi. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's not Wild Beauty. That one's got like loads of flowers. It's quite colourful. I think it's like a purple. Definitely not that. So ruling that out. I don't think it's Children of Blood and Bone. I have that book and I just see more red and white and scrapes and this looks too neat and there's no face. I just, yeah, I don't think it's that. So that leaves us with two. I have no idea what their covers look like. I'm going to go with the one that I couldn't say just for the fun and go Wink Poppy Midnight. So the next one, ah, oh, this is beautiful, I know what it is immediately, thank the heavens! <laughs> I wanted one that I just knew and this is it. Panic by Lauren Oliver. Like, it's so obvious, you can see the hair and the, of the girl and the word panic, black background. I mean, let's look at the list, but we know, I know what that is. So we have The Lies About Truth by Courtney Stevens, Faking Normal by Courtney Stevens, Panic by Lauren Oliver or Vanishing Girls by Lauren Oliver? No question, no need to rule out. Done. Number 13. <laughs> and we're back to black. <laughs> like, pretty, like, solid black. Could anyone get that without the multiple choice? I'm curious. Do any of you go, yep, yeah, I know what that is? <laughs> because I don't know where you get your clues from. I don't see anything there. That's just black with the tiniest bit of muted colour. Multiple choice, please. Okay, so we have a very Kendara Blake theme going on. We have One Dark Throne, Two Dark Reigns, The Young Queens, and Three Dark Crowns. So I do know that book series um, and those covers. It's not going to be the, t the crowns because there's like one, one the top, the middle, and the bottom. So it's not that. I don't think. I don't think it's Three Dark Reigns. I think it's One Dark Throne. Like that center. That could just be one throne in the centre. And I think that's it. I'm going to go with that. I don't know what the Young Queens looks like though. So we'll go with One Dark Throne and hope for the best. Number 14 we have. Okay, so it's bluey, a little bit of beige, a little bit of green. Let's see what the multiple choice has to offer us. Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. The Killer Kingdom by Alexandra Cristo. History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. And The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. Okay, so I know it's not Shadow and Bone. Not in any world, so nope. History is All You Left Me, I don't think it's that. Like, there's a couple covers I know for History is All You Left Me, and it's like way, the yellow is way more vivid, and yeah, I don't think it's that. The Wicked Deep, now I think that's more blue, and To Kill a Kingdom, I have that book, I just got it, and I can see that, that dark blue and the dark tones, the tentacles, I can see that one in this. So I'm definitely going to go with Two Killer Kingdom. And our last one, let's see what it has for us. Oh, this has been so weird, but the last one is... Oh, oh, I know this. I, I know this. <laughs> it's contemporary for sure. Uh, it's not all the boys I've loved before, but something like that. 99 Days? Okay, so 99 Days is there by Katie Kotukno. 
I didn't even remember the author's name, but I remember the title, and that's close enough. By Your Side by Katie West. Nine Days and Nine Nights by Katie... Yep. And Ten Things We Didn't Do by Sarah Milinowski. So yeah, it, it could be the other one, the Nine Days and Nine Nights, but you can kind of see the title's not long enough. It definitely looks like 99 days. And I've never, <laughs> don't even know what any of these books are about, but I've seen them. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that is it. So I have completed this list. Let's see what all the answers are. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, so number one, let's remind ourselves, was... And I went for Long Way Down, and the answer is... Yay, I got it right! <laughs> My 50-50 kind of paid off. Should feel guilty, but I'm not really. Okay, so this was the next one. And I ended up going These Rebel Waves, even though the thousandth floor was kind of calling me, but I went for These Re Rebel Waves, and the answer was... Now I Rise by Kirsten White. Oh, bum. <laughs> Yeah, I, I knew it could be any of those three, so fair enough. Sometimes luck goes your way, and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so next one was the Mara Dyer debacle, and I just guessed the retribution for pure guessage. And it was the evolution of Mara Dyer. Of course it was. <laughs> yeah, I didn't deserve that, didn't know it, not upset at all I didn't get that. The next one was this one, which I was pretty sure I had gut instinct for the sky in the deep. The Wish Granter by CJ Redwine. God damn it. <laughs> that was the only one I don't know what the cover is. So, oops. <laughs> Fair enough, I do not know what the cover looks like for that. The next one was this one. I was fairly confident on Lady Midnight. And it is. Ah, uh, it's a lot of shadows. <laughs> I am bobbing right now, Jesus. To be fair, do not own have not read any of these but still like I've seen these books enough on booktube that I think I should get them damn Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows oh, there could some people that would like scream at the screen that they knew this and I'm sorry <laughs> I didn't the next one was this and I went for The Fates Divide so yeah <laughs> I got one right <laughs> that was pure process of elimination it wasn't any of the others now this one I was very confident on the hazel wood now I'm scared after that late midnight debacle I'm, I'm now very scared that I'm wrong but let's go for it yes the hazel wood by Melissa Albert I'm so glad I just knew that one and it's fun when you just get them off the bat I'm quite pleased with that one okay so the next one was this bluey purpley one and I went with zenith and I got it right yes oh I'm pleased with that because it could have been any of them but my gut said zenith and it is so whew, thank god for that <laughs> oh god this one I had no idea I knew it wasn't our dark duet so I just went with generation one and it is <laughs> it's generation one I feel like I got a bit of luck back there because I didn't know that at all I think maybe Led Lady Midnight hurt me a little so that was fun just to get that one back the next one was this, and I was very confident of a fire and stars, and it is a fire and stars. Yay! <laughs> it seems like they got a little bit easier, which is weird in a quiz. When you start off really hard, it kind of throws you. So, fingers crossed we keep going on this. So the next one was this black one, and again, I managed to out two of them, but I had a 50-50, and I went with Wink Poppy Midnight, so let's see. Oh yeah, I got it right! <laughs> I'm gonna have to like go back and like insert what the actual covers look like because I, as of just doing this I don't know what these covers look like so ones like that where I guess I really want to know what that is when you unpixelate it like what does that cover look like I need to know now number 12 was panic and it better be panic or I'm gonna be panicked <laughs> yeah it was panic like I knew that one like most confident about that one really happy now the next one was this really vague black one and I went with one dark throne ah three dark crowns oh I guess I can see the three cr oh yeah now we look at it again I can see I even said that earlier it has three oh, I just thought they'd be a bit more spaced out there'd be less black background okay I kind of messed that one up I knew the covers and I, I still messed it up <laughs> my bad Next one we had was this one, and I was fairly certain because of the colour scheme and all that, that it was To Kill a Kingdom. 
and it is To Kill a Kingdom. I'm pleased with that one. I got the, the tones, it couldn't really be any of the others, so I was pretty pleased. And the last one, I was pretty confident on this book I've never read and don't know anything about, that was 99 Days. Oh no, it was the other one! Nine Days and Nine Nights. Bugger. <laughs> See, that was false confidence there. I knew it was that series, shall we say, and I just went for the one I remembered and it was the other one. <laughs> That's kind of annoying, but what can you do? And that was our entire quiz. I hope you enjoyed me just thoroughly confused. <laughs> and I hope you did better than I did. I did okay. Okay, so I got a 9 out of 15. I think that's okay, that's not too shabby. 9 out of 15, I'll take that. So if you do this, let me know in the comments down below what you got and if you think any of them were like so vague that you just couldn't even. I'd like to know. Thank you so so much for watching my little challenge. I hope you enjoyed it. My birthday is coming up really really soon so you can expect some birthday-ish themed videos in the near future. Thank you so 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 much for watching. I post videos every single Wednesday and I really appreciate when you like or you just watch. <laughs> I just like people watching them. To know that there are some people out in the big bad world watching my face is <laughs> slightly terrifying but it's also kind of cool to know that all the work and all the effort that I put into making these is actually being seen and appreciated by somebody and that's something to me, that, that means a lot. So. Please like, comment, subscribe, and just watch. I mean, thank you. Thanks for getting to the end of the videos, especially ones that are quite long, and I appreciate you so, so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye.